What's up guys, how's it going? So, little update here. Car is sitting at about 4,700-ish miles. Um, I just got my first oil change today. First service, tire rotation, and all that. And um, uh, I just wanted to update you guys on how the car is doing, um, my experience with it, um, how Subaru has been handling, uh, you know, all the issues that have arisen with the 2022 plus BRZ. And honestly, I mean, I can't speak for other people's experience, but mine has been absolutely amazing with this car. Um, I've had zero issues. I've bought the car uh, June 17th. We're currently November 24th, the day right before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Um, and, you know, give or take, it's a little bit over five months. Um, and the car's been perfect, you know. Um, I haven't, you know, broken down once, haven't gotten a flat tire. The car's never skipped the beat, uh, never left me stranded or given me any issues. And honestly, when you buy a new car, that's exactly what you expect. So uh, I guess now is as good a time as any to mention the new wheels that I got. That's what I initially wanted the video to be about, but uh, shortly after I got these uh, 1552 chicanes put on my car, uh, my service engine uh, notification, it wasn't a light in the dash, it was just a little screen that popped up that said service engine oil or change engine oil, change engine oil filter. Um, so, you know, I just thought I'd go ahead and schedule that uh, with the dealership. Um, it was free, of course, through a Subaru service plan. I think, at least in SoCal, um, most of the Subaru dealerships give you two free years of maintenance. Um, and the way that the tech explained it to me, or the service advisor, I mean, um, he told me that you get four free oil changes and services. So ideally, I think it's every 6,000 miles. So 6,000, 12,000 um 18 and 24 but i guess i just haven't been driving my car enough and six months passed or almost six months probably since the manufacture date and my car was telling me that it was time so i went and took it down and we got that all sorted out so onto the wheels here guys these are the 1552 chicanes um, I got them for a really good Black Friday deal. Um, they were about maybe eight something for the set. I want to say they were 860 plus taxes. Shipping brought it up to about 950 um, through Throttle's wheel sale. And uh, I was super fortunate. I was kind of scared that the OEM Michelin Pilot Sport tires weren't going to fit because they are wider than the OEM uh, Subaru BRZ wheel but uh, they actually fit perfect. I mean, not exactly perfect. You can see they're a little stretched, but if you're a car guy and you've seen some of the shit boxes out here, you know, you've seen that they've got like some crazy stretch on the tire. And honestly, I think mine is like not bad at all. So, I mean, you know, it's got plenty of tread left on all four corners and I'm just gonna run it, man, and, and see where, where it takes me. I think it's gonna be absolutely fine. And uh, I honestly really like the look. You can see the back shot here of the car. It's looking pretty good. I got some goodies. I ordered uh, 1552 plates. I got a sticker pack and uh, I got an air freshener that I haven't put on yet, but soon to get an air freshener up in there. Anyways, guys, moving on. So yeah, those are the wheels. Um, once again, the specs, 18 by eight and a half plus 35 on the offset. Um, so stock suspension, no rubbing at all whatsoever. It actually feels like a monster truck right now, but um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna fix it because I do eventually want to get some bigger tires or wider tires at least, um, 235s, 40. Um, and I think it's gonna fill up the wheel gap a little bit more, but I'm not 100% sure yet. You can see right there, you know, the wheels are actually like perfectly flush with the car. Maybe just the hair sticking out, but the rear is perfect. The front has a little bit of poke from the top here, but I think it looks pretty good for what it is. You know, the sale price was like perfect. It's exactly what I was looking to spend on some wheels. And I just couldn't pass it up, uh, especially to get like, 
you know, this classic five spoke design, you know, it's just really reminds me of like Rega Masters, which are like my all time favorite Honda wheel. Um, or, you know, I really can't think of any other style wheel that's like this, but it's, it's pretty awesome, man. And, and I dig it a lot. So as I mentioned earlier, the car hasn't given me any trouble at all. Um, you know, it's, I've used it as my daily driver. I've got about a 30 mile commute round trip, um, five days a week and, you know, casual driving here and there. And uh, not much has changed from the last update video. I still got all the regular mods that I had. I haven't taken anything off. Um, the only thing I've added, I made a video about it, was the third brake light right there, which I love. I think it just completes the rear end of the car. Um, however, I think if there's like a really nice aftermarket option, I'll probably end up getting something to replace that because that's like a little bit cheap. Um, but apart from that, that's totally fine. Um, the interior is like awesome. I really can't ask for more. Um, since I got the limited trim, the seats are still holding up amazing after 5,000 miles. Um, you can see right here, sorry, it's a little bit dirty because I haven't really vacuumed it um, in a while, but you know, there's a little bit of wrinkling on the on the leather here, but it's, it's honestly not very noticeable like at all. You know, the bolsters are still fine. This is suede, so depending on how you sit, it's gonna look a little more worn than it actually is. Door cards are like perfectly fine. Again, it's suede, so depending on how you've been touching it, it's gonna look, you know, a little bit more mistreated. I had put on this uh, suede steering wheel cover and I made a video about it. And it's been holding up pretty good, honestly. There's no complaints about that at all. People were saying that it was gonna get sticky or that it was gonna come apart, you know, after a little bit, but it's honestly been perfectly fine. You know, I wash my hands very often, so no issues there. My little STI puddle lamps still doing good as well. Those were a cheap mod that I also really appreciated. And engine wise, nothing new. Still 100%, 100% stock. Just got that fresh oil filter right there that we just put on today because I got my service done. Um, that's pretty much it. They tested my battery, said it was good. Engine sounds healthy all the time. It starts right up. Never had any uh, chugging, you know, at low RPMs or or you know shaking of any kind my fluids are all topped off um yeah i mean really can't complain something that i really want to get for this car and i'm hoping to get done maybe within the next month or two months or so is the jdm fog lights which are right under the uh headlights in the little vents right here in the front bumper i want to get those done i want to get a front lip and then of course maybe a little bit lower um, I'd like some coilovers, but if the budget allows it, but honestly, I might end up picking some, some low marine springs if that could work out. But yeah, guys, for a person that's just cruising by himself all the time, like me, I think this is the perfect car. Um, it gets me and my girlfriend around everywhere. It doesn't skip a beat. And honestly, I couldn't ask for more. It looks good. It performs amazing. And I can't recommend this car enough to anybody that's on the fence about getting it. So yeah, guys, thanks again so much for watching my videos. Um, hopefully a lot more mods coming in the future for this car. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see or if you guys have a BRZ and you have any questions about this car at all. Uh, my Instagram handle is below in the description. And I've had a couple guys hit me up already and I'm always happy to answer questions about the platform, uh, at least from what I know. So yeah, guys, thanks again and peace out. I hope to see you guys in the next video.